Now we will discuss the concept of residual dividend model. Residual dividend model can be used to determine how much is going to pay out as dividends amongst the profit. In other words, we can use this to determine the payout ratio, that is, dividends per share over the earning per share. Before this, we have to realize that the assets of a company is equal to the equity of that company plus the liability of the company. In other words, it means that the assets of the company can be increased if we borrow more debt, that we will increase the liability, or we issue more share to the shareholders to raise money, or if we can earn profit. Usually a company will set the so-called target equity to liability ratio. For example, it can be 3 to 1. It means that they always want to make sure that the equity is 3 times of the liabilities. And don't forget that this means that the assets will be 4 times of the liability. Okay, now let's say in this year, a company has earned $4,000. As a result, the equity will increase by $4,000. Similarly, the assets will immediately increase by $4,000 also. While the liability will be constant. However, for the company, they would like to set the target equity to liability ratio to be 3 to 1. So in order to achieve this goal, they must raise more debt, which is equal to 4,000 divided by 3, in order to maintain the equity to liability ratio. And the asset is no longer increased by 4,000, but increased by 4,000 plus 4,000 divided by 3, which is 5,333 now. Okay, so this is the background. How a company try to maintain the target equity to liability ratio if they have a profit of $4,000. However, the company may decide that they don't need $4,000 to finance their activity in the coming year. Maybe in total, they think that they are going to need actually just $4,000. In order to maintain the target equity to liability ratio, if I need extra $4,000 of assets, it means that Three quarter of the assets will come from the equity, which is three thousand dollar, and the rest, which is one quarter of the assets, will be from the liability, which is one thousand dollar. So now it means that in order to finance this four thousand dollar activity next year, we only have to retain three thousand dollar from the earning we have got this year. And for the rest of the $1,000, we will raise it through the liability, which means that we will issue more debt. So we have $1,000 left from the equity. Because we earn $4,000 and we only need $3,000 in order to first to meet the coming year requirement and also to meet the target equity to liability ratio. So as a result, from here, we say that the dividend will be $1,000, while the payout ratio will be 1 over 4, which is 0 0.25.